What's the deal, everybody? We are today going over DaVinci Resolve again. Since it's been a while, I have had tons and tons of questions, and it seems like everyone's asking the same thing, because like you, it was very difficult for me to find when I first started. And people want to know the entire process from DaVinci Resolve, start to finish my workflow and delivering videos. So that's what this video, or should I say this two-part video series is going to be all about. I know it's going to be long, but that's because it's going to be detailed and cumbersome, full of information and full of everything that you have asked me in the past. If you are one of my subscribers and have commented on any of the DaVinci Resolve videos I have made previously, this is going to be very long. So strap in and let's get to it. All right, now this is going to be a pretty long video, so we might as well get right into it. And I'm starting from the very beginning. Here I am in the media section of DaVinci Resolve. I will first create a new bin, and this is where I will be putting all of my video footage. As I mentioned in previous videos, I just keep going from videos I made 150. That's how many videos I have made this year, just in case you were curious. So bin number 150, I will drag over all of the files from this house. Here they all are. Now I go directly over to the timelines. This is where I have everything mapped out and I have already selected which song I'd like to be working on right here. Option number two for me. So I'm going to go on over to the edit tab. Now, as you can see right in front of me, I've got everything pretty much laid out. All right. Now, before we jump in too far, I wanted to clip in and say a few things about the timeline. The first thing you'll notice is that there are marks everywhere. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know I talk specifically about marking the audio track. Well, this timeline is where I learned that to be true. So I have a bunch of marks on the very top of the timeline. Just ignore all of those. They're completely irrelevant. I always follow the audio timeline marks. The next thing I want to talk about is going to be my V2 or Visual 2 timeline. You'll see a whole bunch of clips there with a bunch of red question marks all over them. That is actually from a previous build and I just forgot to delete them before I started making this video in this project. I was excited about it being my 150th video of the year, so I just rock and rolled, forgetting completely really that I was filming the entire process. So I didn't want to delete it halfway through and have y'all be like, where'd all that random stuff go I just want to address what it is let's go go on up here 150 that's where we're at right now now we're just gonna start selecting footage the first thing I'm really gonna do actually is go back to my media tab and I'm gonna select everything from inside the house I'm gonna come up here to clip attributes go right here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on my actual timeline boom now what this is gonna do is as you can see, it automatically slows everything down for me so I don't have to do this later on. It makes this one step makes everything so much easier in the process. So now that I've slowed all this down, I can go ahead and go back to working on my timeline. Here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is start with some random drone footage on over. Here we go. Start going in. Here we go. Boom, boom. Drag this on down to the timeline. Stretch it to where you want it. There we go. Look at that. First clip done. All right, the one drone shot we're gonna use, now we'll go on over here. This is the actual footage from my camera that I did all over the ground. And there's only one shot in particular that I'm looking for right here. And it's right over here. Here we go. That one right there. I forgot to add this one into the clips earlier of the ones that I slow down. Use the T button. The T button will allow you to grab your clip and move it. And if you look up at the top, you'll see exactly what I mean. 
On the left is where this cliff starts in the timeline. On the right is where it ends. So I'm going to do a little bit of finagling so that way it's exactly where I want it. And just like that, there we go. You can see all that mad wobble put into it. But if you come right down over here to the stabilization option, you can choose all of this. I wait until the very end to do all of my stabilization. And that's just because if I put stabilization on it now, then go to my color frame and steal my pre-rendered stuff, then it will mess with the stabilization. So long story short, when I'm doing this, I wait until the end to stabilize everything. Give it a little drag right here. And now we're gonna go to the inside and keep on rocking and rolling. Now, since all of this has already been slowed down, I shouldn't have to worry about doing any of that. I should just have to drag and drop. Just like that. Now, since we've got the first one done, we are going to move really quickly. Just got that shot done. I know this is the next shot I'm doing. So as you can tell, this was all actually done on a gimbal in-house. Um, and that's just because it was much easier for this property in particular for me. Go back to this, keep on going. Oh, you know what? I think there we go. Drag this down. We'll use one of these little maneuvers right here and we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. So it looks like we've got a little bit different. So now this is what we've got so far in just a few moments. This is why having everything clipped out in your audio in the beginning is super advantageous. Now let's keep on rock and rolling. I've got one more clip of the kitchen I wanna use and that's this one right here, moving back. So if you'll notice, I like to start with rooms pushing in and end with the room pushing out. Let's keep going because I'm still on the kitchen. Now the very last clip I'm going to do is one pulling away from the kitchen. Like this. Because the next shot I did Oh, you know what? I forgot I even did this shot. Look at this one right here. There we go. Let's remove this clip over here and instead replace it with this clip because that's exactly what I shot it for. There we go. And the reason why I like to end with that shot coming off of the kitchen is because of this shot right here. Now you'll see what I mean when I line them up next to each other. Pulling back to the right, then I go center, pulling back, and then I back up still pulling back so that way it makes sense in the space now let's keep on going where are all the shots from the living room i think these are all of them here we go so we can start with this one And we're gonna do the fireplace shot. Mm -hmm. 
into the dining room shot. Then we're going to go upstairs. So I'm actually going to take this right here, throw it in right here and right clip, reverse it. So that way it's going in. And the next room we're going to do is upstairs master suite. Here we go. Want this one master shot room to be nice and long since it is the master shots introduction shoot. Then we will keep rock and roll. And I know I have the other side of the master. Here we go. There we go. And since this is just the other side of the master, I can make this one a shorter clip into the master suite we go. Got all of those. I don't want to use that shot even though I took it, but I do want to use this shot, which is me pulling away from the shower, which is a shot I always try and do. Ooh. There we go. Next will be the next room that was up in this office. And bedroom number one, or I guess secondary bedroom number one, scrubbing through the footage. There we go. Bring this down. Next bedroom. Bathroom. All right, so since the song is not quite as long as you need it to be, what do you do? Well, in advance, I have actually had this problem before with this song because it's so short. So I'm going to show you what I usually do. I have created another clip of just the rear end section of the song. As you can see from here over, it all matches just like that. So what I'm going to do is clip this on in to my predetermined spot. I have done this before, so I know pretty much exactly where it goes. When I line it up, come on over here and we'll give it a little crossfade. And we'll keep rocking and rolling where we were going. So let's see, bathroom one done. Now we can go downstairs. And let's see, we'll start with right here. Drag this down. And once again, please just keep in mind, this is all just real time editing. I haven't stopped for any reason. I'm just rocking and rolling. So you can see exactly how I do it, why I do it. Pulling out of the room, then we'll go into the office room. <clears throat> Whenever I'm showing a single clip of a room, I always try and pull out in the clip instead of pushing in. Um, and just because I find it looks better in the final product. Here's the bathroom from downstairs. Downstairs. 
Now, the only thing left from inside is the one upstairs bathroom that I did not include because it's a little tiny bathroom. So I just usually stick those, the little half baths on the very end. Well, now my song is too long. So what do we do about that? That's a more difficult one. Get rid of these again. So I can put this exactly where I want it. Like that. There we go. Now add that cross frame. There we go. Now we've made our song shorter again, but we have <laughs> just a little bit to deal with. So what we can do is take a lot of these extra bedrooms and bathrooms and shorten those up to a single clip. Like this. And now we only have a few clips left, one being the outside porch or patio. And the very last one being the exterior drone clip. So we'll make this just a little bit bigger. We will blade off the end and we will use our little T button once again. And we'll put a little fade on the back. All right, everybody, that is gonna be it for part one where I'm talking about the layout and the timeline, the editing part just making sure everything looks good before we move into the color grading aspect. The next video I produce will be all about this exact same video, but in the color tab of DaVinci Resolve leading to delivery. So as always, keep rocking and rolling, enjoy what you're doing, and I'll catch you next time.